Mr. Tan would take six hours to paint the house. If Mr. Krishnan were to help him, they would take four hours to paint the house together. How long would Mr. Krishnan take to paint the house by himself? Okay, let's take a look at this question. These are the key phrases. So if I were to assume that Mr. Tan took four hours to paint the house together with Mr. Krishnan, the fraction of him painting the house is out of six because he can use that six hours to paint the entire house. But instead, with him, with Ms. Krishnan helping, he's actually only using four six. Okay, four six of the house painted by Mr. Tan. That would mean that the remaining, which is 2-6, is painted by Mr. Krishnan. So we are roughly there already. So 2-6, this fraction, is painted by Mr. Krishnan. Now let us observe this fraction. 2-6. The bottom denominator, what does it denote? It denotes the total hours if Mr. Krishnan were to pin by himself, just like what we have done to Mr. Tan. If you observe, the bottom fraction, 6 hours, is the total time he takes to paint the house by himself. Okay, But the top number, which is 2, is the time that he took to paint together with Mr. Tan. Correct? So in the question itself, it says that both of them combine together that 4 hours. So what am I going to do? I'm going to change it to denominator of 4. And to do that, we have to multiply the top and the bottom fraction. So it's somehow playing with equivalent fractions. I have to multiply by 2. And I get 12. 4, 12. So to answer the question, Mr. Krishnan would actually take 12 hours to paint the house by himself. The numerator... This 4 means if he were to combine together with Mr. Tan. The bottom is what he takes to paint by himself. This is one of the many methods to solve the question. Okay, now I will use model method to show you. Okay, so I have Mr. Tan here. He painted the house by himself using 6 hours. So the entire chunk here is the house. And he took 6 hours. So I'm going to break it down into 6. I'll use another colour. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 units here. And every 1 unit is six, uh, 1 hour. So for Mr. Krishnan, I do not know the speed or the rate that he took to paint the house by himself. But I know by the other sentence, Mr. Tan only took four hours to paint together with him. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so if Mr. Tan were to take four hours, this is the part that he would paint of the house. Okay, and the other two units, you'll be wondering, the parts that's not painted, who has actually painted it? Well, since they combine power together, that means this part is painted by Mr. Krishnan. That means Mr. Krishnan actually painted two units of the house. But if you take a look at this, the question wants him to paint by himself. So what do we do? Okay, let's see. In these two units that he has painted, if we look at the duration that he has taken, it's not two hours, but it is four hours. So what am I going to do? I am going to cut it up like that. Which means one unit becomes two hours instead of one hour. And he say by himself, right? So I'm going to draw the rest of the units. That's going to be the same as the top. Okay. And remember, he took twice the speed of Mr. Tan. Every one unit just now, I cut it into two. So I'm going to do the same for this. 
and now you may do the counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer will be 12 hours.